All right, welcome to episode number 19. And uh, this is going to be a really quick episode, almost like an addendum to episode 18 about subsurface scattering. So there's been uh, some development on the subsurface scattering shader, uh, which happened uh, a week ago or two weeks ago. Uh, but uh, yeah, now I got the time to make an episode about it. So we're going to jump into Blender and check it out. So this is the head model I had before. And uh, yeah, I'm going to turn off that because that's one of the features. So in the episode 18, um, I emailed Clement about it uh, and asked about uh, light uh, transmission through thin surfaces. And he was kind of unsure if he, if, it was, um, if he were able to um, develop it. But the good news is that uh, he was. So if you focus here on the air, and uh, I go into my material, <coughs> sorry, and check subsurface translucency. So you can see it become a bit brighter, but I'm gonna disable it again. Um, also, oh wait, let me, yeah. Let's bring up the debug menu. Let's check the memory, 243. So uh, if I enable it again and you focus on this air, boom, you can see it uh, didn't really take that much more memory, this feature, but the result is uh, really visible. It's really, really nice. So you can imagine if this was a full body character and he was standing like in a doorway, which is kind of have a dark foreground but the background behind him is really bright then you would get this effect where like the thin part of uh, the subsurface scattering or face the skin shader would be um, light would uh, transmit through thin parts you kinda brighten them up so once again I'm gonna turn it off and on so you can see the effect so that's really cool um, thank you Clement I mean, this is so, so, so cool to have. Um, and the next part is, um, if you remember my material, I'm, I'm using like a diffuse uh, mixed with a subsurface. Uh, I have a glossy also for the uh, Fresnel effect, but the main part is this diffuse and subsurface scattering shaders. And if I mix them with like a value of zero, you can see it's only the diffuse. We get only the, um, we get really sharp color or albedo channel, so nothing is like blurred out. And if I make it fully subsurface scattering, you can see that the um, details are blurred out. And by mixing them, you get a bit of control, so you can like have uh, 0.8 or something like that. Then you get a bit of the details back, but still get the subsurface scattering. And this is also something that's been updated in Eevee. So if we check the render tab, we have this uh, option to separate albedo. And uh, it says that avoid albedo being blurred by the subsurface scattering, but uses more video memory. So let's enable it and check the video memory. So it takes a while. And actually, I don't really see that much... Uh, more memory being used. Uh, maybe because I've been turning it off on and on. But as you can see here, we still get the subsurface sub scattering effect, but uh, the details in the albedo uh, texture or the color channel is uh, still super sharp. So we get the, both of the uh, good effects like the subsurface, but we still get the sharpness in the texture is preserved. So this is going to be really important for characters. Maybe not so important if you're going to do like a rubbery or plastic uh, material for uh, small details and stuff like that. Then you can leave it because you're not going to use a uh, albedo texture at all. Or if you do, it's not going to be that super important. But for characters, it's really, really a, a really important feature to have. So yeah, that was all the features. I've seen added recently 
And as I said, this was more like a addendum episode to the, the previous episode, number 18. Uh, and uh, I'm gonna keep on looking at Eevee now, probably have more time this week. So uh, I'm gonna check if there's another feature in Eevee that's been, that I've been missing. Uh, I'm gonna read some of the release uh, logs also and try and see if I find another feature, but yeah. This was a really quick episode, I just wanted to show you that. And um, so you can use the separate albedo or you can use my approach by mixing a diffuse and a subsurface scattering. But then you're always going to have a little bit of blurriness to the uh, albedo or color channel. So yeah, uh, otherwise than that it's really cool It's uh, to see it going on. I guess it's gonna be uh, stagnating now during the holidays but yeah next year is gonna be amazing and if Eevee continues like this it's gonna be a real pleasure to work with it. So that was everything for today. Happy blending. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.